a face rebuilt. This man was savaged by a bear, but now surgeons have given him a new face, including arteries, veins, bones and sinuses. In Paris, this patient too received a face transplant. The before pictures are too distressing. He had facial cancer, which surgeons removed and then transplanted skin, nerves and blood vessels in the middle and lower parts of his face. Doctors planning face transplants here are delighted by these successful operations. Uh, certainly the French case has been able to walk down the street without anyone passing comment and before that had a very difficult time walking down the street and going out in public and basically became a recluse because he would get uh, names called and he would get stared at and pointed at and actually the majority of patients we see have the same problem. Both patients did suffer from bouts of rejection producing swelling and redness. But in both cases, the rejection was controlled by a cocktail of drugs. Following the success of the first face transplant, Isabelle Dinoir in France, surgeons say these two further operations have made the procedure a surgical reality. Doctors here at the Royal Free Hospital in North London are greatly encouraged by the results of the world's second and third face transplants. Rejection hasn't proved to be an insurmountable problem, and the difference the operations have made to the patients' lives are immense. Lawrence McGinty, ITV News at the Royal Free Hospital.